and I'm back home from my first day at my new job. It was actually a fairly easy job. I only had a three hour shift and well, I did the cleaning I was supposed to do and then I got done early and the system manager showed me around showed me some of the other stuff that I didn't already know and helped me out with all of that and <clears throat> yeah I got talking to some of the other guys and you know, manager Tony he's a really nice guy assistant manager Aaron he's an awesome guy you know and I, I, I really had fun fun working this job like I said before, it was just a three hour shift. You know, sweeping and mopping the floors and emptying all the garbage cans and, oh shit. You know, doing stuff like that. Where do I set this? Let's hold it. And, uh, yeah. Mopping the stairs after I swept them, cleaning the bathroom. That was a lot easier than my last job because my last job I was working at the Ben Senior Center, and of course, that place gets a lot more traffic every single day when compared to the you know, just a, a lube shop. Because, <clears throat> yeah, that's what they do at the place I got hired. They change your oil and stuff like that. So, you know, I mean, there's also a, a car wash connected. And it's the same business, basically. But, um, yeah, you know. This day working this job, I can't complain. I, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Work with a lot of nice people, and it's an easy job. <laughs> it's a twenty minute walk away from my house. This job is closer to where I live than any other job I've ever had. Even my first job that was like a well, no, that was mm, pretty quick walk away, but still, if I didn't want to trespass through a middle school's football field, I had to walk through a bunch of neighborhood streets, and it took me a little longer, but yeah. So, this is actually a, qu a quicker walk than I've ever had to any job before. And, yeah, I I really like it. Turns out I could have worked a little bit yesterday, but I was wearing shorts. And I thought that was part of the uniform, but no, apparently only the management team are allowed to wear shorts. Every other employee has to be wearing pants. So my grandmother was nice enough to go out and buy me a new pair of pants today, so... That was nice, and I wore these pants to my first day at, first day at work, and <laughs> it, it, it was a good day. <clears throat> you know, I, I work with a lot of nice people, and yeah, like I told you, I used to work at the Bend Senior Center doing custodial, and that... That place gets a lot more traffic than this lube shop does. Excuse me. And, um, 
you know, so of course there's a lot more to clean up at the senior center than there is at this place. <sighs> Warm Pepsi. <sighs> well, yeah, a lot easier than any other job I've ever had before. Much nicer people to work with than I've ever worked with before. I mean, sure, at most of my other jobs, there were nice people here and there, but never where everybody is nice. I mean, there's an older guy that works there. I think his name is Steve. He has all these old classic cars that are like 30s, 40s, and you know, get pictures of them that he was showing. That's really cool. A lot of them were telling stories about this and that and the other. It was just... I like the people that I work with, you know. I mean, I heard one of them complaining about one other guy, but I didn't see anything wrong. You know, he didn't mistreat me, so I guess that was good. But... I guess overall it was just a really good first day of work and yeah you know I I thoroughly enjoyed working this job it you know yeah I got thirsty a couple hours in but so what you know I was able to drink some coffee that I let cool off for a little while but that was all right I guess but uh, yeah, I need to go out and get myself uh, a, a nice water bottle and, you know, like one of those steel, you know, stainless steel ones and put ice cubes in it and it'll stay cold all day long, you know. But, yeah, uh, I got the red carpet car wash. It's backwards right now, but, yeah, the red carpet car wash is the other side of the business. I work at the Lightning Lube you know, red carpet lightning lube, which is basically, you know, where you get your oil changed and your stuff like that, I guess. I'm not even working in that part of the area. I just, I clean the upstairs offices and the the waiting room area, you know, empty all the garbages and clean out the bathroom and, you know, itchy head sweating a lot um but yeah it's it's a really easy job and i love it yes i've only worked one day so far but if you don't love it after your first day you know in my experience it's gonna take an awful lot for you to love it after that you know So basically, yeah, basically, I'm 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 just happy right now. <laughs> I haven't been happy in a while, cause you know I finally have a job. I don't have to keep filling out applications online and hoping for it to maybe possibly work out. But most of the ones I could possibly apply for didn't work out. So. <sighs> Yeah, I just, I, I really don't know what to say, except I'm in a really good mood. I'm happy. I'm not used to feeling happy, so this this is a good thing. Because, you know, it's, it's good to, you know, be, well, I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now, but I'm just in a good mood. I, you know, things are going to work out great. Yes, I go back to work tomorrow, and there won't be that much for me to work tomorrow, but, you know, because it won't be like 24 hours worth of dirt to clean up. But, you know, that's why I talked to the manager and told him maybe working five days a week, there wouldn't be that much for me to do. So I'd be standing around and, you know, wasting a lot of time and I don't want to do that on my job. So, you know, we thought maybe, you know, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three days a week instead of all five days. You know, that way in between there will be a little bit of time for the, the dirt to... To, to you know build up it so that you know there's not just nothing for me to do and I'm cleaning clean surfaces you know which is you know 
a waste of cleaning product because it's <laughs> never ran into that um that issue at the senior center because that place gets a lot of traffic every day regardless well not every day but the three days a week that i worked it got traffic those days so i stopped working oh i didn't stop i don't even know what i'm saying but yeah i mean this job is going to be very easy i'm going to enjoy it a lot i know that and hell if you see this and you possibly want to come and see me while i'm working and say hi you know go to the red carpet lightning lube in bend oregon and you know um schedule an appointment or service or whatever some point you know between the hours of three and six when they close so you know i mean that's when i work so if you come in during those times you could say hey brandon what's going on i saw your video and i'm you know all that so you know but and i'm sure they'd be appreciative that you know i'm bringing them more business so that you know if, if you see this and you want to help me out please stop by and get your oil checked at bend oregon lightning lube or red carpet lightning lube in bend oregon you know on my shirt um well this is red carpet car wash they don't have the time to make me a shirt yet but it'll, it'll happen I'll, I'll post a video of that because <laughs> it'll be the first job i've ever had where they had shirts personally made for me you know yeah <laughs> so uh yeah i really don't know what to say um i'm happy today was a good day you know i'm i'm glad this happened my life is going to improve anyway if you enjoyed seeing my update please leave a like on this video if you want to see more updates on my life and you want to keep in touch please subscribe you know if you want to show other people that hey somebody else is moving forward with their life and trying to make things happen then go ahead and share it please you know um watch all my videos i've start from the beginning you can see how i've improved since then so you know i've even tried two uh first amendment audits sort of and you know i'll be getting back out and doing more of those once i find my account once i find my gopro and get it all charged up and i can start doing more parks and stuff and <sighs> okay what i really want to do is go down to the fire station it, it's a newer fire station it's a couple years old but it wasn't there when I first moved to Bend, and then it was being built, and then all of a sudden it was there, and, you know, I, I want to go over there and talk to some people and get some information and, and you know, take a tour if possible and, you know, check out the tr their fire engines and, you know, watch them slide down the pole if they're willing to do that or whatever, and that, that new fire station is actually right next to the police station. So I could always, you know, after I'm done with the fire station, go next door to the police station and do some kind of an audit or, you know, a FOIA request if I had something I wanted to check out or whatever. But uh, maybe even go and ask for an officer complaint form and see if they do that because, you know, that, that should be done. And, you know, but yeah, I want to do an audit at the police station and get that done um i doubt i'll be able to walk up it but as soon as i get like a um a three-wheeled bicycle because i'm a balance for two wheels um you know once i get like a tricycle um 
you know, my mom says there's some kind of a motor you can buy where it turns any bicycle into an electric bicycle. You just hook this thing up and charge it at night and then hit a button and vroom, down the road and there you go. So, <clears throat> you know, hopefully we can get something like that hooked up and then, you know, 20 minute walk to work will become a seven minute ride if I know the shortcut, if I can figure out the perfect shortcuts in the same road. Sure, I can get there real quick. <sighs> uh, I talked with a few people who work over on the car wash side and yeah, all the ones I talked to for however long, whatever, uh, they were all nice. Um, the gas station and the deli that they got in there closes at 6, so when I get off, I can't just go over and buy a soda. Had to walk all the way to a grocery outlet. And, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I'll have to like, explore that area to see if I don't know, maybe there's, like, a store or something close by. I, across the street, there's, like, a law office that he, Aaron told me about. I asked him what was across the street. It was a law office, and it's a law office, and it's either cleaners or a dentist. And then something else. I'll ask him again tomorrow. Or I'll even show up early and just go check it out. I don't know. But yeah, I mean. I've not been working for a few months now. And my mom's had to pay my rent for me. And that's been a little bit difficult on my parents and so now that I have a job I can start paying my own rent and after I get rent paid of course I'll have a little bit of extra money and I'm not sure I need clothes in fact I know I don't need clothes I need a few specific things but you know I mean Now I'm having weird thoughts about what they would do if I showed up in a custom-made work, like, jacket or something that had, you know, red carpet, but I put you know, lightning loop. Maybe I could use their, I don't know if they would let me use their official symbol or if I would have to you know, do my best to recreate it from memory or what, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> that'd be actually kind of cool to get one of those, like, you know, like a pilot style bomber jacket or one of those, you know, denim jackets or something like that and just have patches, you know, the red carpet lightning lube, you know, big thing on the back with my name on it or, you know, just whatever wonder if they would allow something like that. I mean, it's, that's always a question I could ask. I mean, you know, my boss, Tony, he seems like a nice guy. He's willing to answer whatever questions I got. So, yeah, maybe I'll ask him. But, yeah, in closing, um, this was just a really good day. I'm, I'm very happy. This was the best first day at work I've ever had. Because... It was a three-hour shift. I was meeting new people the entire time. You know, made a few mistakes, but, you know, Tony and I cleared that up, and so we're, you know, I'm going to do better tomorrow. And, and that's what it is every day. I just learn and correct it tomorrow and do better. That's the way it's supposed to go, I think. So, yeah, anyway, um, this was a really good 
day. Thank you for listening to my updates. Uh, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys around. Hi, just observer. I'm just out here looking. <laughs>